No electricity, no problem. Today, we're looking at the EcoFlow Delta 2. So basically, when I got this, I had the read up on there, found out a bit of information of how it all works. Very simple and basic to understand because if you're like me and you're a novice to all this, okay, I'm by no means an expert, okay? And I just found this real simple and straightforward to use. You don't need an engineering degree in all of that, um, electronics and stuff like that. It's absolutely, you take it out of the box, plug it in, bosh, absolutely fine, all right? So what I decided to do was to do a series of tests basic tests which most of us are probably going to be using it for all right so i needed to know for myself if this little thing here was up to the task so as you can see here we're basically looking at will it power up my fridge freezer i think it had absolutely no problem whatsoever it was so simple just plug it in and away it went so now we're looking at the kettle so the power's going off you need a cup of tea get a start on the day sorted out and the kettle is your absolute go-to plugged it in no problems at all it was absolutely fine to be honest and it didn't really take that long exactly the same as what it would be if you was using mains power so the kettle no problem pass that test with ease next we have the toaster okay the toaster absolutely draws a lot of power and to be honest this was a learning curve to see how much power these devices that we all have actually take up and it uses up quite a fair bit but as you can probably tell as you're looking at right now no problems at all the toaster absolutely worked fine and it done my toast exactly how i like it so for a fast charge look how fast this thing charges of course during the power cut you're going to need lighting all right so check out this lantern it charged it up with ease just plugged it in and that enables me light for hours and hours and hours during my power cut so the power bank to charge up your phones when you're on the move, no problem. So of course, extra lighting, just like we said earlier. So we charged up our battery charger to enable us to use this torch during the power cut. So imagine it, power's gone off, grid down, stick the radio on, okay? A bit of normality. It absolutely powers the radio fine. Obviously, again, lighting, but something like this is easy because you can just hang these up. It gives you loads of light proper workable light and it charged these up fine and once that was done I was able to hang that up like you can see now and it's just like a normal light in the room. So now we're going on to charge the phone absolutely fine in fact it charged it a lot faster than normal which is an absolute bonus having a phone in a grid down situation is a good idea. So if you're on mains gas and that's gone microwave absolutely will work as you can see here no problems whatsoever it heats up, it boils water, a great little bit of backup kit. Also, the laptop, an absolute really cool integral piece of kit for most of us have. Obviously, you're gonna have like um, memories of family, photos, videos, all of those all important apps, documents. The possibilities are endless of what you can actually put in a laptop. So even if the battery has failed in your laptop, you can absolutely keep it running with this for hours as you can see on the screen one thing i love about these right they're so basic and simple you can't get it wrong you really can't you just literally turn it on and it tell you on the screen there so at the moment we're looking at 98 hours as it is currently it's currently 94 percent fully charged it's got the figure on the top and the figure at the bottom so that's the input and underneath is the output you don't really want it overflowed with loads of unnecessary information it does exactly what it says on the tin. Like I said, really simple and straightforward to use. So let's go around it and see what all the features are on this. So if you want to link up extra batteries, you absolutely can. You just plug the link on lead and away you go, another battery. You can see the DC input on your left, which means it is solar and vehicle chargeable. Absolutely awesome. In the middle, you see the extreme fast charge, which can also be monitored and adjusted with the app that you just download. As an extra, you've got the overload protection switch, which loads over 20 amps. So here we just activate the AC control panel, four main outlets, nice and simple, plug your devices in and you are ready to go. So you've got a 12 volt output panel via a cigarette lighter. You just press the button, that activates it. So if you want to use any devices which have those cigarette lighter adapters, here is where you win on and off simple 
So here we have the USB control panel. All of your outputs are there. You just press the button to activate it and away you go. This is a lithium iron phosphate battery. Very cool, very long lasting, okay? They recommend that you store these at 60% charged, okay? So if it's long term, you want to just put it away somewhere and it will last for ages. It will really do go to a big length of extending that battery life, all right? So 60% charged, every three months, you discharge it down to 30% and then charge it back up to 60%, stick it away for another three months. Also, this syncs with Bluetooth, so you can connect it up to the internet as a device. You need to do that via the app, which you can download. And they're using the Xtreme Fast Charge. Really, really cool. One of the fastest ones out there. So temperature warnings, all right? So you've got um, warning signs on the screen. The lowest you want to take this down is minus 10 degrees Celsius, right? So we don't want it going above 45 degrees Celsius. So there we have it then, the EcoFlow Delta 2. If you want something that's really well made, good quality, and very, very simple to use, I think this is probably the one. It really is so straightforward. I just can't believe how easy it is and how durable it is. It is quite well made, and it will absolutely get you out of a jam when there's horrible power cuts come rolling down the road, all right? You wanna make sure that you've got sensitive things protected when that grid goes down. All of the links you're gonna to need to know about this will be below this video, okay? Check on there. They are affiliate links, okay? It does help the channel grow. So, thanks very much for watching and stay funky.